Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel for what's going to be an overview of hair powders and fibers, which might sound a little weird. I, I feel like a lot of us are used to hearing about and talking about other hair care products like shampoo, conditioner, mousse, gel, pomade, things like that, but less about powders. And there are quite a few out there and they're really great for those with thin or fine hair, which if you know me, or if you don't know me, you're about to know, I have thin fine hair. I'm always looking for volume, texture at the root, just a little bit of oomph throughout the day so my hair doesn't lay so thin and lifeless. And so hair powders are great for that. But there are a couple different kinds out there and all of them, while they can work together, depending on what you're looking for, one might be better for you over the other. So I thought I'd do kind of just lay them out for you right here. And this video idea actually comes from the most recent hair video I did where I talked about my normal or regular hair care routine for thin, fine hair. I partnered with Viviscal to create that video and they saw that I was using a texturizing hair powder and asked if I wanted to do another video with them using their Conceal and Densify Volumizing Fibers. and. I have never tried fibers like these, so it kind of exposed me to an entirely new category of volumizers and, and powders and fibers, basically, which is when I realized this is a good opportunity to kind of wade through all of this that exists out there to help people understand which is right for them. So let's go ahead and get started since we're already talking about it. The Conceal and Densify Volumizing Fibers. So these are unlike any other hair powder that I've tried because they're actually colored fibers that stick to the root or really wherever you apply them over your hair. But they're not only meant to volumize, like add volume and texture to the crown, but because they're colored fibers, they also conceal any scalp that may show through at your part or at the crown of your head where just, it, in general wear your hair parts, which it hadn't, until I used this, hadn't dawned on me just how impactful that can be in making your hair look thicker and more voluminous. So way I like to use this is I tip it over on my head. They recommend squeezing, but I find if I'm looking for a little bit more coverage, I will shake the canister up and down and then I will use the comb to disperse it throughout my hair and I'll have a demo going here so you can actually see that. But that's the way that I like to apply it. And then you also have a way to close it too. You can see there's like a little dial here with a one or a zero and so you can open and close it. So if you wanna throw it in your bag and travel with it, you don't have to worry about fibers going everywhere. You can actually close it while still keeping that comb on the end to help disperse the fibers. But like I said, was really surprised at what a difference that made in just making right where my part is look that much more full. I was also really impressed with the way they lasted all day. Like not only the volume it gives you here, the texture it gives you here at the root, but also the color lasts all day. Like it's getting hot here, folks. I can attest to the fact that this has, this has gone through some heat and it's about to go through some more with the kind of summer it looks like we're gonna have here in Austin. So really happy to say that it's lasted really well, but it washes out. I mean, it's not like it stains or anything like that. It washes out super easily so that you can go in and reapply the next day or whatever you'd like. And it works really well in conjunction with other hair care products, including those that I'm about to mention. So that's the first kind of powder slash fiber product category. The next one is a hair texturizer and those tend to be like white powders and they're a little bit more sticky. They are great for styling, but they can make your hair kind of stick together, which gives them whole, but as a result, gives your hair a little bit less movement. And then the final product is a dry shampoo, which a lot of people don't think about as a powder, but in fact, it is a powder you're spraying on your hair and it helps wick away excess moisture from your scalp so that, you know, whether you're on your second or third day of maintaining your style, if you're not gonna wash your hair and cleanse those oils like you normally would, that powder is going to help not only wick away that moisture, but it also gives some level of texture as well. Not nearly as much hold though as something like a texturizing powder. So those are the three main categories that I tend to break down my hair powders and fibers into. Hopefully that helped you guys. If you find that you have certain issues that these might help with, this video helped you understand which of these might be might work well for you. But like I said earlier, these all work well in conjunction together, especially ever since discovering uh, the Viviscal Conceal and Densify partners really well with that hair texturizer because typically those powders are leave like a white cast because they are in fact white if you layer up. This is a great way to not only conceal the scalp but also conceal that white cast while also still like building that volume and texture. So something to consider as you are building your powder and fiber uh, hair routine, <laughs> if that helps. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.